What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel. Apple released a couple devices last week by surprise. Stick around after the intro to find out more. To the future Hectic fans, my name is Hectic and I've taken over this channel. Apple did some press releases and introduced the all new M2 MacBook Pro and the M2 Mac Mini. Don't go anywhere because by the end of this video, you will find out whether or not you should upgrade to the M2 MacBook Pro or the M2 Mac Mini. Let's get started. The 14 inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro starts off at $19.99, which is the same price as the previous M1 MacBook Pro. This includes a 10 core CPU, a 16 core GPU, 16 gigs of unified memory, and a 512 SSD storage. The 16 inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro starts off at $24.99, which includes a 12 core CPU, 19 core GPU, 16 gigs of unified memory, and 512 SSD storage. But wait, what if you're not a laptop guy and you want something that just stays at home? Well, that brings us to our next product, the M2 Mac Mini. If you've liked the video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, do you want some AirPods Pro? Stick around to the end of the video to find out how you could win some. Let's get back to the show. Now, let me make a point. This is the best value for your money. The base model M2 Mac Mini is available for $599. This includes a 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, 8 gigs of unified memory, and 256 SSD storage. Now, the top model M2 Pro Mac Mini starts off at $12.99. This includes a 10-core CPU, 16-core GPU, 16 gigs of unified memory, and 512 gigs of SSD storage. Did that sound a little familiar to you? Well, I think it did. These are the same specs as the M2 Pro MacBook Pro. So in one hand, you've got the M2 Pro MacBook Pro for $19.99, and in the other hand, you have the M2 Pro Mac Mini for $12.99, and they have the same specs. So what do I do now, Hectic? How do I decide which I should buy? That's a $700 difference. Well, this is why I took over this channel. So just sit there and hear me out. For $700 more, you are just paying for portability. If you want a workstation for the family to use, the M2 Pro Mac Mini has enough juice to handle it. Editing videos? No problem. Compiling code? Playing Minecraft? No problem. So why not? Now, let's answer the question, should you upgrade in 2023? If you own anything with an M1 chip right now, and you're looking at the website for any of the M2 releases, then stop what you're doing right now, because you don't need it. Yeah, that's right, I said it. The M2 MacBook Pro only has a 20% advantage over the old M1 Pro lineup, which is nothing. If you're a student, programmer, video editor, the M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max is more than enough to last you the next couple of years. Now, let's say you own a Intel MacBook Pro or Mac Mini from 2019 or older, then yes, you need to look into getting an M1, M1 Pro, or M1 Max, or just something that starts with an M. But even then, the 2019 16 inch MacBooks can still compete with some of the M1 lineups. But just for future proofing, find something with a silicon chip. I currently own a M1 Pro MacBook and I don't feel like there's a need to upgrade. The M1 chip is already an overkill for the everyday user. But I'm sure there's an Apple fanboy out there that'll still buy the new MacBook just because. And that's okay too. And that about does it for this video. Don't forget to comment hashtag Hector Morphin down below to enter the free giveaway of the Apple AirPods Pro 2. Also, become a Hectic fan today and follow me on all social media. Links are down in the description section. And before I go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell notification icon to stay up to date. I'm out.